In today's episode, we'll be discussing the mechanics of damage. We'll also be diving into the process of creating new skins and recapping the previous season in esports. Hello, tankers. Vacation has come and gone now. The brain and body are gradually getting used to the rhythm of work. Nothing is as invigorating as the news we've compiled over the past weeks, which we will share with you. Grab some tea and goodies, sit down in front of the screen, and let's go! So, the updated critical damage has been released. The turret that everyone has heard of now is Railgun. With the release of the critical damage mechanics, this turret and its augments underwent quite a few changes. As you may already know, Railgun was the turret that was most noticeably weakened by the protection modules against it, due to the fact that critical damage has its own type of damage and requires a separate protection module, the turret was able to breathe more freely in the game, perhaps even too freely. Some augments turn out to be incredibly strong, while others, usually those that apply status effects, become too weak. The first changes to the balance of Railgun have just been released today. They are designed to integrate the turret into the balance of the game with the critical mechanics. Keep leaving your feedback on Railgun and Balance in Game. We will make sure to check it out before the future balance changes. Additionally, we have worked on a battle damage display. We noticed that when killing enemies not all players understood whether it was a critical damage or a normal damage kill. Now, when you kill an enemy, you will see red indicators for critical damage and orange for non-critical damage. We also slightly changed the display time and size of the damage numbers. We hope that this update will make critical damage even more interesting and make it easier to understand what is happening in battle. One of the most beloved tanky events is rightly considered to be Easter. There's a fun tradition on Easter, hiding and searching for eggs. We're bringing the tradition to tanky and launching a contest to find eggs in the tanky universe. The game website, the forum and the wiki. Your task is to find as many eggs as possible and earn pleasant prizes for it. You'll get 1000 crystals for every egg you find. Before you set off in search of Easter eggs, you will need to log into a special site using your login and password from your in-game account. There, you will receive a personal code. You'll need to enter this code every time you find an egg, otherwise your find will not be counted. The contest will last 3 days, from April 2nd to April 5th. We will post 12 eggs every day at 9 a.m. UTC. In just 3 days, you will have to find 36 presents. And for players who want the easy way out, finding an egg in one location in different locales will only count once. Good luck and happy searching! As promised, today we'll be visiting the art department and asking its manager some questions. Hi, Pavel. Hello. Tell us, who designs the tanks? We don't have one person in particular who makes tanks. Each tank and its design is, in one way or another, created by the whole team. Well, and how many people are in this team? Hard to tell. We are working in a pretty small team. On the one hand, we have key employees who are professionals in design and make key decisions. Meanwhile, the technical part is mostly outsourced. Because of this, there's no definite answer on how many employees we have. We've seen this question pop up in comments quite often. Why does it take so long to make a new skin? Because we want to make sure we do our best. If we work on a skin and it's not 100% done, but is still released, we do not like it. The worst part is that we cannot return to working on this skin anymore. We prefer to take our time to perfect the skins, so we can be content with the final product. Tell us, what are the main challenges you face in developing turrets and hulls? There are two main problems. The first, of course, is the design itself. The second area is the proportions. We had relatively few polygons in the original designs, and most of the details that are on the tank were drawn. Now we need to do it all in 3D and ensure that it doesn't affect gameplay in any way. Gameplay-wise, the tanks should remain the same, so it's a challenge to fit all the large details, armor sheets, etc. into this limited number of polygons. Additionally, we can't scale this in any way. We can't hand this over to some other external modelers, contractors, because outside artists often are not familiar with the style of tanky online, as they don't know the history of the project. Because of this, they often work in the wrong direction. Well, and another common question from the players. Will models from Tanky X make an appearance in Tanky Online? I've answered this question several times in vlogs already, but not very clearly. Maybe someday, it's not that easy, and so on. But now, I can say with certainty that work in this direction is already underway. Stay tuned. 
Well, I got it, we have some plans for redesigned tanks. But what about the maps? Will you redraw the graphics? The main... The first season of Tanky Sport 2021 tournament ended two weeks ago and concluded with a huge surprise for viewers of the grand final. Penguins lost. First time. Four of the strongest clans met on the battlefield to determine the winner, who earned the glory, millions of crystals, thousands of tank coins, as well as the hearts and stars of the fans. After losing their first match, Revenge fell to the bottom of the grid. Unfortunately for their opponents, that was their only setback on their way to the finals. After defeating the wild card of the tournament, Peachkey, they found themselves in the final of the lower grid, where they rematched against Team Pointers. Following Revenge's first defeat at the hands of Team Pointers during the semi-finals, fans had already made up their minds on this rematch. Only 16% of the players voted for Revenge on the special tournament website. However, this did not affect the mood of the team, and in a close game, Revenge pulled ahead to unseat Team Pointers and went to the grand final, where they were to meet against the undisputed favorite of the tournament, Penguins. The fans thought Revenge's run was over. The voting of that day showed just 7% of the vote in their favor. Most everyone in the community was prepared for a short match and a landslide win in favor of the veteran team Penguins, who had not previously lost a match. In the first two rounds, the predictions looked to be correct, but after round four, Revenge managed to tie the score and turned up the heat. The close game went on for the remainder of the match, and after all ten rounds, Revenge prevailed 4-3 to win the first season of the Tanky Sport 2021 tournament. Want to earn glory and reach new heights just like Revenge? Season 2 is coming soon, so assemble your dream team and get ready for some quick and easy qualification tournaments open to all. Practice, play well, and maybe during the next tournament, you'll meet the players in your team's paint. Welcome back to YouTuber Digest our weekly selection of the best TO videos created by players. First, watch Jumper as he shares his epic highlights from the Easter Juggernaut Rugby mode. Second, watch Ghost Animators as he finally finishes his Recruit to Legend series. Way to go! Just a quick reminder, if you want to be featured in an episode of the vlog, then submit your entries via the YouTuber wannabe form, which is located in the video's description. That's all for this week, tankers. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos are released. Oh, and don't forget to smash the like button as well. More likes means more updates. Bye. Last time, you had to guess how many crystals the following tankers would receive from their rank ups. And the correct answer is B. Congratulations to the winners! And here's the next question.